Hey YouTube, the Home Cinema Engineer is back, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your system to reference level using an SPL meter, and also run you through the process of calibrating your system using Odyssey Multi EQ XT32, which is the latest version of Odyssey. However, this is going to be the version done with the app, which is a $20 app, which allows you to have more advanced control over your system and fine tuning it. So here we go. Now this whole process has helped a lot if you do have a uh, camera microphone stand and I just took the uh, connecting plate and connected it to the bottom of my Odyssey mic. And you wanna make sure when you're doing this, you want the microphone to be at ear level for every single position you move it to. So in this theater, when I'm sitting down, ear level is approximately 40 inches. So the stand is set at a level to where it's right in line with my ear. So this is just a quick time lapse showing me moving the Odyssey mic into the eight different uh, listening locations. Also, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you don't move the Odyssey mic stand outside of, say, a six to eight foot radius. It's really not designed to do multiple locations spread across like 12 or 14 or 15 feet if you have a very large theater. It's really meant to work within a very fixed bubble. So try to keep the spacing as close together as possible while still moving it to your primary listening positions in the theater. Now that you've calibrated your system using Odyssey Multi EQ XT32, Next step is to calibrate every single speaker to the same level and more importantly, reference level. Now, reference level, according to Dolby Digital or THX, is approximately between 75 to 80 dB. And then peak noise in your receiver is recorded at, I believe, a negative 30 dB. So, Go into your receiver setup, go to speakers. If you have a Marantz or a Denon, this is exactly what you're going to be seeing. You'll go to manual. Here you can just double check that the changes that you made in your Odyssey app um, were actually applied to your receiver. So you can go to amp assign just check and it is indeed in 11.1 technically 11.2 in my case because i do have two subwoofers and then seven speakers on the bed layer and four dolby atmos speakers on the ceiling so that all looks good support format you can see in the lower left hand corner dolby atmos dtsx speaker configuration Again, this is where you can just assign the size of your speakers. And in this case, you want to set everything to small. Okay, so that looks good. This is where you're going to calibrate all your speakers to the same level or reference level. So go in, test tones. So for this, you're going to need an SPL meter. The one I use is the Checkmate SPL meter, and it is the CM130. So you gotta get everything set up correctly. So for this, you're gonna wanna go to C weighting, which is an accurate representation of how our ears uh, perceive sound. And then you'll want to go to slow response time. And then you'll want to hit the level between 60 and 90 dB because reference level, depending on how you want to set yours, some people like to go really loud. Uh, some people obviously like to go exactly where Dolby or THX recommends. So for me, I'm going to be shooting for 80 dB of pink noise. So I have it set to 60 to 90. And you'll just want to keep this right in front of you. It doesn't have to be at ear level, but it helps if you do hold it up at ear level. You certainly wouldn't want it on the floor or anything. So start. Okay, so the most important part that a lot of people don't realize is that you have to go to your receiver 
and you set the volume knob to zero. All right, because the pink noise is recorded at a certain level, and I believe in my receiver, in Denon and Marantz receivers at least, it's recorded at negative 30 dB. So set it to zero, then go back. All right, and then you start, and then you'll just go one through one, each speaker bumping up the trim until it hits 80 dB or 75, whatever you prefer. Okay, and now you're done. Every single speaker was calibrated to 75 dB of pink noise with the master volume knob set to zero. So basically, if you want to listen to a movie at reference levels, you'll have to turn up your receiver to negative zero. Now, generally, even for big theaters or the majority of people, that's pretty loud. So most of the time when I'm watching my uh, 4K Blu-rays, so when I watch my movies down here, I typically will turn it up to around negative 10 at the absolute highest. And then usually I average about negative 15 to negative 20 for the majority of content. But you'll find that reference level is pretty loud, but everyone's, you know, everyone's different. Some people like it really loud. Some people like it just a little bit softer. It all depends on what you're into, but at least you know that all your speakers are at the same exact level SPL wise, and they're all going to perform optimally and give you nice enveloping high dynamic range sound. So now you're ready to go.